Hello everybody, that's the Farmman, and welcome to the new Let's Play we're going to be doing. Um, this is Sparrow Hill Farm, which is the new map that we did the map tour of all about four days ago. Um, I'm still debating whether to release it and all that stuff, uh, but we're going to be testing it as a Let's Play series. Um, just and then see what we can find that's broken and what's game breaking and that. I've already fixed a couple things which I found just playing a bit on single player. Um, I did have a bit of a scare so I started to record this, my wool wouldn't show up so I fixed it and I deleted a few other things and dragged the vehicle XML over and my map kept trying to break and crash and stuff and it, it was a mod com it was a mod that wanted to work but couldn't because the pigs had been deleted which was low animal prices. So we're back. Um, so as you can see not a lot has changed in the main yard just I've added some detail on the silage pit there's a couple of bits of ivy up there. Um, uh, we, we are running the Crooks small silage trailer, the red one, which Will redid the side panels to and all that stuff. Uh, FS Will. Bought some Power Ranger over there with new wheels. This one was the new wheels are by Scott. He put them on for me, and he made it. What's the word? He put he put another thing on it that made it look a bit shinier. Um, also, I fixed this gate here and put a one of them rail things on. Um, we've got bale forks and bucket. Which are knackered. Um, I've kind of shut some of the, uh, uh, put some more, put some of the stuff back over the cows on here, the roofing and that, which I took off. Which a lot of people said, which quite a few people did say that it didn't look too good. But uh, so I'll fix that. And my Discord's going to go da -da -dun, da -da -dun all the time, which is going to be the way. Um, the Keenan feeder as well is there. Um, of course the static cows in there. Um, you may be wondering why they've got a straw bale and not a hay bale. I haven't got any solid objects uh, hay bales so I have to use straw until I can get myself on some. Uh, we've got a new fuel but fuel trigger here as well which doesn't show up in the F1 menu but uh, this is the new well this is the new fuel one because there wasn't one here originally. Um, in here we have a 3650 from the mod contest with a vehicle um, what is this? This is a, a tool transport trailer which has straps as well as a locking script. Um, this one's got the header on it. This is the 4.5 meter. This is the 6. The header could really do with being on this one, but uh, it, this one was in front of it, so I just pulled it out with that. Uh, around this corner, we have the Herbs dump trailer in the corner, which we're going to be using for muck carting, which we really don't need on this map, but anyway. We've got the MX one, uh, 170, but it says 150 on the side because the decals don't change. This is, I think it's Scott Murray's one that he uh, did because you had to, I think you had to pay for the original model and he got it in game and all that stuff. I think, I'm not too sure, so if anyone probably knows. The all in one cedar there as well, which is quite nice. Also, I've added a, a smoke particle effect to the chimney to make it look like someone's home. Um, Mass Ferguson 27 Combine uh, only just about fits in here. It was a bit of a squeeze to get that in there. Um, I'm not too sure I'm going to get it back out. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, the little uh, loader tracks we're going to be using is the Ford 4610. Um, and it's got the uh, muffler exhaust sort of setup with the rain cap, which I like. Um, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't like that, does it? It doesn't like me being close to it. It's wiggles. Um, not a lot's been changed in the main yard. There's just a few little things here that I fixed and changed. Um, but that's about it. Just coming down the little run here. Mass Ferguson 30, uh, 130 muck spreader, which was done by Bob, um, who is in my Discord. Uh, he very kindly reskinned it. It's a John Deere one, but he reskinned it for me. Small slurry tanker, which was reskinned by Mac, who is also in my Discord. And he sent to me because I was looking for a really nice small one. And he, the original model, I'm not sure who's by, but the reskin was done by Mac. Um, Water Bowser here. Um, this is done by FS Will, who is in my Discord. It's a, I think it's the single axle tipping trailer with the bed, the top of the bed missing. And then he's put a water tank on, some new tyres, and some little planks of wood to hold it up. And it actually looks really nice. It works really well. Um, it does a good job. Now, of course, the cows are still in the back there. I haven't really done much over there. Um, coming down this little run thing here. We're just going to fly down it because there's nothing really interesting there. We will be driving around this, don't worry. 
Um, of course, all the fields are buyable, and they all show up on the PDA, which needs, which I need to sort because it's not sorted. But I'll sort that probably when I fix all the other problems. Sheep field as well, like we said. Uh, the wool spawns over there now, just there. Um, I've moved it and fixed it. Um, we've got one egg, so one egg spawn point, which is here. I think so. We're running the PZ uh, CM165 mower, PZ Hay Bob, which was done by oh god, what's his name? It's on the official model, but anyway. In game rake Pottinger. Um, we've got the Roland. Um, eh, what is this? This is a grain trailer. I was forgot its name then. Um, this one can turn into a bell trailer, so that's also good. We've got three bell trailers technically. We've got a Massey Ferguson 200 here because the Lely's a bit too big for this map. Um, now here we have a static cow shed with just static cows in that serves no purpose at all. With a bit of ivy and we've also got some like kind of mossy stuff growing up the side of the wall. Now this was done by Ryan who is in my Discord who is a member of Reed Modding um, who has Scott, uh, Ewan and Ben I think. And someone else, I think they have someone else in their team. He very kindly made a pack of these. There's a cow shed, this shed, a bale shed, and another bale shed, which I'll show you later. Um, he very kindly actually made this from the bits from Welsh beef, the cow shed and that. He very kindly made this one um, and let me have the pack. So, big shout out to him. Um, he did a very nice job of it. it is, I bet it took some time because I'll tell you what, this stuff is horrible to work with. All the stuff is really weird. You have to use all a little side combo things now if you remember from last episode I fixed the gate and I managed to make it just miss the post by a couple inches um, so we'll go to the shop first so there's a big grass field in the middle here which is actually quite nice there's a bit there's a few areas that need a bit of grass adding to and all this stuff so of course you come down here now I did say there's gonna be a field down here that isn't a field down here this is just to the shop I know I could have put a field down here um, of course, you come along this bit of barbed wire fence because the hedge has been ripped out and they put one in. Come down this bit of hedge, hedge road here, it's all overgrown and all that stuff, which is the effect I wanted. And you come to this little bit of a dip, and here is a little, I don't know what you call it, a little stream. Um, of course, they put a fence up just to stop in case any cows came down here. Um, it's all, it's it's fresh, it's like a moving river. I. It, I was trying to get the effect of it was a moving river that wasn't too murky and it wasn't too like so you couldn't see through it but you could still see it and I really couldn't get that effect with anything so I've put this water in I know it might look a bit too clean but that's the way it's got to be a couple of like weed stuff um, a few like tr uh, actual weeds growing up beside the road now this is where you actually get your water from so right here in the middle you just fill your water bottles up from and this stretches right around to that grass field over there. And I think I've done a nice job of it. I'm really happy with it. I might fit a hedge this side as well, round to there, just to match the other side, because that looks really nice. Um, it's a great place to take screenshots of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's it. This is my actual... I actually like this bit. The entire map I've built, this is probably the bit thing I like the most, is this little river, or stream, or whatever. Um, so this is the shop slash reset point. Not very big. Yeah, of course, you've got your, your the shop container. They're not they're not very rich, and it's just a family run shop. That's that's the story I'm going with, and that's what I'm sticking to. So um, a few weeds and stuff growing in here. It needs moving around and stuff like that. So if we go this way, now this map may I may just be showing you all the new stuff, and then in episode two we'll actually get on to doing something, but I'm not too sure. So if you come here, now if you remember last time I had problems with the collisions hitting each other, I have that problem no more. Now you can see these two sides of these grass bank have no grass on them. I'm thinking of stuff to put there. If I can't think of anything, I'll just grass them over. So this is where the end of that little river slash streamy thing ends. I wanted it to come through here and carry on, but I couldn't do it, so I just sort of stopped it. So yeah, I mean it wouldn't, it wouldn't in real life it wouldn't be this clean. This water would be absolutely murky as anything you know you won't be able to see anything in it but I couldn't get the effect I wanted so I just chucked this in it's a bit unrealistic but it'll do for the farm sim uh, it's just nice to look at as well whilst you drive down here whilst you're carting silage bales or grain 
So this is the biggest grass field on the map, and there's also a little arable field hidden away in this corner, because um, this was a bit of open space I had, and I thought, oh, we'll put a field in here. There's only ten fields on this map, to be honest with you. Um, and that's as many as you want slash need. It's not seasons ready. It will be, hopefully, by the time I'm finished with it, I should have it seasons ready. Um, so if you come down this lane a bit, I put an arable field, two arable fields here. That are probably the, you know, they're the nice ones. Um, of course, this way is the other entrance to the farm, just up the hill, which is a steepest, steepest hill I've ever made, I think. Of course, you come up this bit of a hill here, another grass field, but there's a track here that leads to the arable fields, and then you have to cut through that arable field into that arable field. So it's it's kind of a bit of a mix and match. Um, of course, you come here. There's another grass bank, just like the other side of the map, uh, other side of the farm, sorry, um, which is for you know, there's nothing really actually here, but so it's just it's just here, it just fills the gap in. Um, of course, oh, actually, did I make that field there a field, or did I not? I don't think I made that one. There's actually eleven fields on this map, but that grass field there behind that shed, which I'll show you in a minute, has not been done. Now, I drive when I go uh, to. Burton which, is, Burton, which is not very far from my house. Um, there's a field, and in the bottom end of the field, there's actually an old bale shed that they still use. And this is the idea I went with for this map. Um, of course, this is an arable field, but this could be a great place if you've run out of room in the farm and you have arrow and you have straw bales you want to stack. It's a nice little old shed just at the corner. It's still useful. Um, I've only put a bit of ivory on this side, or whatever it could be leaves or whatever you want it to be, but it's ivy in this game. Um, there's like a little tree island thing over there, don't know what you call it. This this field's kind of rough. Um, so of course you come around this corner. Uh, it's not it's not a very tight corner, you can get some big kit down here. Um, but I wouldn't suggest it because it's, it's difficult as hell. Um, and then you come here and there's another nice shed. This was This is out of the pack that Ryan did for me. There's a bit of a ivy and like long grass growing up the wall, not ivy, uh, like mossy stuff growing up the wall. Bit of an extra turning point for when you get your bale trailers out. But yeah, this is the bale sort of, sort of what will be the main overflow bale store point. You'll only be able to store so much at that farm, but then you can, you've got a place to put your straw, or hay, and your silage bales and whatever else. You can put more silage bales here if you wanted to. Um, there's nothing here. It's just, just like it's just just an extra thing to look at and it, it does happen on some farms they do have areas like this where it's a bit further from the farm and they do put bales down here carrying on this way with the wooden fences that are a bit unlevel uh, it gets quite tight here in any tracks or anything we kind of hit actual road um, this is the very very small village that I decided to put in but I might make it bigger I'm not sure um, so yeah you get this little bit of a, a view kind of, of how big the map is and it's not that big um, come down here, of course you've got your your house, the first house you come to, they've got transit van and they're doing a bit of housework. Uh, these people don't want to be disturbed, that's why they have a gate, you know. <laughs> this field extends up here as well. Bit of barbed wire because I haven't got any normal wire fences for this house. May change that, may change that. Um, come over here, another house just on the end. So it is a very small village with only a few houses in. Now we actually have, I think we've got an egg. We have no egg, but that's the egg cell point there. Now, in coming into this yard here, which is the, uh, which yard is this one? This is the grain, this is the everything yard. So, in this corner here where these bales are, is the straw bale cell point. Wool cell points there, and grain cell point. Now, I've, now, I may change this idea, but this is the idea I came up with, was just have all three next to each other, really close. It doesn't look as good, I will admit that, but it it does for me and at the very very end of the road here is just a grass field so that is it um, I've also added the little smoke particles to a few of these houses like the two here and these two so there's two with and two without um, I may extend the village I probably will extend it and I may even make a extended version of this farm um, I do I, I honestly have put I mean since the last video it doesn't look like a lot has been done in only about four days but I've had to do this almost every night which is why there's been no videos but you know we should be able to get back onto that 
Um, we'll go have a look at the cow field, I think, because I don't think I've changed anything. But So, yeah, that's all I've done. There's only a few little things I need to fix to get rid of some of the errors, and that's change the names of all the gates and, you know, little things like that. Well, I think my wool has spawned in, has it? No, it hasn't. Has it spawned in under the map? Let's just go over there and have a look. Because if it spawned in under the map, we're going to have a problem. No, it hasn't. It spawned up in the air. No, it hasn't. It just hasn't spawned in. They've said zero out of zero. Right. Zero out of zero. So that, so that means it ha it wouldn't spawn until it says 1%. Well, one of anything. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'll have to keep playing around with that if I can't get it to work. I normally get them to work first time. And then you come back to the main yard. So we were going to go combining. And we're on 15 minutes. So <laughs> I don't think we are. Um, we'll go have a look at the cow field. Now, nothing has been changed, I'm pretty sure, in here. All I've done is just, of course, added the border around the edge. Um, but, yeah, so there's nothing on the actual... It, it feels weird making a map, and then when you scroll up, it's just emptiness around you. Um, it does feel weird, because you're kind of in your own little world here. Um, so, yeah, that is it. That is uh, Sparrow Hill Farm all done. It is all done to a point of it's playable I will be testing it if it if I test it and find any bugs or anything I'll try and make a list I'll get a scrap of paper or something and write them down so I can fix them all and maybe I'll release it I am not too sure the reason I'm torn about it is because I know what the FSC is like I have been here for an awful long time um, and I know for a fact if I just release this in my discord it will go walkabout and it will end up on mod websites which I really don't want it to do I would like it just for my subscribers to have but I can't just do that for for this um, so it may end up being if it if I choose it it'll be private if I don't then I will make sure it gets released with credits to go to every sh everybody whose stuff I've used with like the sheds and um, sheds the textures and all that stuff in the trees um, but yes so that is it Sparrow Hill Farm completed it is finished Maybe I'll work on another map whilst we do this, and we'll, and I can have another map. Or maybe I'll build an extended version of this. Um, but at this moment in time, I just want to play the game. So I thought, what's the better way than test my map to just finish playing the game? Now, it is going to go to a few other people to test it, um, which is probably almost everybody that do, I do the multiplayer with, and a few other friends um, to test for me, so they know, and I know, that we've tested every inch of it to within an inch of its life. And we know what we're doing. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, add me on Discord, join our Discord, add me on FSU, uh, uh, follow, uh, follow me on FSUK, and yeah, happy farming and goodbye.